What comes to your mind when you think of Italy? Some think of the boot-shaped peninsula that sits at the heart of the Mediterranean. Others think of the Colosseum, the Roman Forum, or the Caesars. There are those that see the Leaning Tower of Pisa, or gondolas taxing their way through the water streets of Venice. Maybe you're like those who envision Tuscan hillsides or colorful fishing villages. Still others are reminded of famous works of art or names synonymous with fashion. Images of pasta, Vespa motor scooters, or soccer may come to mind. Whatever thoughts you may have about Italy, I would like to ask you to consider one thing above all else. That is the nearly 60 million souls that live there. 90% of Italians would identify themselves as Roman Catholic, although only about a third of these would describe themselves as active members. Which brings another image to mind often associated with Italy, the Vatican and the Roman Catholic Church. Many today falsely believe that Roman Catholicism is a denomination of Christianity. Let's briefly compare its beliefs with our final authority, the Bible. The Roman Catholic Church teaches that it is through the Roman Catholic Church alone that salvation in its fullest sense can be obtained. But the Bible records the words of Jesus as he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. The Roman Catholic Church teaches that for salvation, grace becomes merely a help and is given through the sacraments of the church. And it is the sacraments that are necessary for salvation. But the Bible says, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. The Roman Catholic Church teaches that Mary brings salvation and is a co-mediator, invoked under the titles of advocate, helper, benefactress, and mediatrix. But the Bible says, For there is one God, and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. For the Roman Catholic Church, the scriptures are not sufficient of themselves to provide all that is necessary for an individual without the Roman Church's interpretations. But the Bible says all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, truly furnished unto all good works. Time fails us to examine the papacy and priesthood, image worship, the Mass, Purgatory, and many other unbiblical practices and beliefs of the Roman Catholic Church. The Roman Catholic Church is not Christian. Most Italians are Catholic in culture, but deeply cynical of the Church, although Catholic traditions and mindset continue to permeate every aspect of national and personal life. But the Roman Catholic Church is just one tool that Satan uses to keep the Italian people in spiritual darkness. Occultism, New Age thinking, Cults and materialistic secularism are widespread. Only 5% of Italy's 33,500 communities have an established evangelical witness, and there are little more than a dozen independent, fundamental Baptist missionaries in all of Italy. The need is great. Who will go? Who will be a minister and a witness to lost Italian souls, to open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan unto God? My name is Stetson Plank, and God has called me to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ to the people of Italy. I'm thankful for the loving support of my wife Sandy and our son Isaiah as we endeavor together to reach Italian souls for Christ. The Lord gave us an open door to take a survey trip to Italy in September of 2007. We had the opportunity to stay with the Holman family while in Rome. Brother Jamie Holman is a Bible-believing, independent, fundamental Baptist missionary in Italy that is established both in English speaking and in Italian work. In phase one of our ministry in Italy, we plan to serve under the leadership of Brother Holman while we learn the Italian language and adapt to the culture. Rome has a large English speaking population which will give us opportunity to win English speaking people to Christ and disciple them while we learn the Italian language. During this time, we will also seek the Lord's direction as to where in Italy he would have us establish a church. Phase two of our ministry in Italy will involve planting independent, fundamental, Bible-believing Baptist churches. We are sent out as missionaries under the authority of our home church, Cornerstone Baptist Temple, under the ministry of Pastor Jerry Seiler, and with the assistance of Mount Abiram Baptist Mission International. 
As ambassadors for Christ, we will seek to reach the Italian people with the gospel, disciple them, and commit biblical truth to faithful Italian men who shall be able to teach others also. Please pray for the Plank family, that we would have the power of the Holy Spirit as we seek to labor in the harvest field of Italy. The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few.